an annual festival celebrating up and coming musical talent returns to Camden this weekend. The nine day long Roundhouse Rising event features live performances, workshops and talks all for young Londoners wanting to get into the music industry. The event's producer is Nicole Logan who joins me this lunchtime along with one of the experts involved, MOBO nominated Afro beat artist Mr Silver. Very good to have you both with us this lunchtime. Thank you very much, you, man. Thank you. Tell us why for you as a MOBO nominated artist this was a festival that you wanted to be a part of. Um, I think it's a great festival because, as you said already, like it, it goes out to young people, and I think it's important that we influence the young people of our, our generation. You know, what I mean, we have to express our culture as well and try to give them a different light in life and stuff. So I think for myself, it's something that I want to do to encourage the young people to like get involved with music and stuff. You've so, had some yeah. pretty impressive success along the way yourself. What mm. do you hope to impart in, in the way of your experience and how people can follow in your footsteps? Um, myself, I think I just want them to be able to like find a way or feel like they can take a different path in life and feel like, okay, cool, this guy, what he's doing is really insp inspirational. So if I aspire to be like this guy, maybe I can get somewhere positive in life with like all the strains and the stuff that's going on in society. It's not easy to like stay focused and stuff. So I hope I can provide a focus for them really. Your career began like many artists as an unsigned artist. Yeah, How right. challenging was it? Um, I think it was very difficult, but at the same time, where I have a lot of passion for what I do, I think the passion has allowed me to continue on going. So I think if you're really interested in like a field or in a talent, and if you have great passion for it, no matter what circumstance you go through, you're going to find a way to get yourself through, you know what I mean? So that's what's really kept me going, my passion really, so yeah. Talking of your passion, and before we hear from Nicole about the festival itself, very excited to say you've brought along with you uh, your new single, your right. latest music video, and you've brought us uh, an exclusive look on London that's Live right. TV. Let's take a look. Mr. Silver with murder and Nicole for Londoners watching that, young Londoners wanting to follow in Mr. Silver's footsteps. How are you planning to help them do that? So at the Roundhouse we're all about you know, helping young creatives get into the industry. So we've got nine dates and there are lots of different touch points if you just want to get into the industry. So we've got the Wide for Music Sound Connections event on the Wednesday and that's an all day um, sort of workshop. We've got the panels and we've got the Artist Talk It Day on the Sunday, Closing Rising. Um, and that's again panels, workshops, time for you to talk to the artists that we work with uh, through our resident artist scheme. And, and of course you can come to any of the gigs in the evening. So I think some of my personal favourites, not that I have favourites across it, but um, we've got uh, Little Sims opening um, on Sunday, headlining the main space, and then we've got Edges, who are playing on Wednesday evening, and the Rising Sound Clash, which is on Friday evening. And some of the industry experts that you've got on board are people that have got a career in part, thanks to the Roundhouse and the festival. Yeah, so I think Little Sims is such a great example of that. So she started using the studio, so a lot of people don't know that um, at the bottom of the Roundhouse there's a massive network of studios and creative spaces for young creatives to use. So she started as a studio user and then became one of our first resident artists and every year we work with about 12 resident artists in different creative disciplines and she was one of those artists so it's so brilliant to see her go from using the studios to now headlining the main space and sort of being such an amazing artist. An incredible uh, space and equipment available for young Londoners to use yeah. at the Roundhouse. How can people get involved with this festival and find out more? So if you just go over to our website which is roundhouse.org.uk and then you can find out all the details about where you can get tickets. I think there are still some tickets for Sims and for the Rising Sound Clash on Friday. I think a couple of the events are now sold out so you'll have to be quite quick. Um, and apart from that, sign up for our Emerging Artist Membership Scheme which is absolutely brilliant.